Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna do a PR haul. I've never done one of those. If you guys aren't aware, I actually have been on a low buy. So the only products I've been buying were specifically for my channel, not for me and my enjoyment. But I have been receiving PR things on the side. Now, this is like collected over the last month, I wanna say. So I'm so grateful that these brands sent these my way. They thought I was worthy and I have opened everything up but I've been very, very bad about testing and trying new products this month. To be honest, I've been a bit overwhelmed. Today, I'm sitting down, I'm breaking down all of these boxes, and I'm going to put all of these items in my to-try bin. So these are items that you will see over the next few weeks on my channel. So if you want to see all of the new makeup items that I got in PR, then just keep watching. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with Octoly. If you don't know what Octoly is, basically you can order items if you have social media and they will send them your way. So if you have a smaller channel, I would definitely recommend looking into Octoly. But I ordered two things from their site. So the first one that I got is from Mamond. I love Mamond. It's a Korean skincare company and I picked out the Floral Hydro Cream. So this is a moisturizer. I've had this for a few weeks. I've been using it for over a month. It's not my favorite skincare product. I don't think it's moisturizing enough for my skin. It doesn't leave it feeling as hydrated as I would like. This is a gel-based cream, so I think this will work better for oily skin types. It's been nice and lightweight before makeup, so I've actually been using this to moisturize before my makeup if I didn't get the chance to in the morning. I've been liking this. I just haven't been in love with it, but I have been giving this one a try. The next item that I have that I ordered is from Clarins, and and this is the Lip Comfort Oil. So you will see this is a brighter color. I got mine in the shade number four candy. It smells really good, you guys. And I love lip oils. So you'll actually see based on this swatch that it doesn't have too much color. But really on my lips, it shows up very bright pink. <laughs> Just really bright. I like it a lot. It's very moisturizing. It does kind of get all over my face. So I apply the product sparingly. But if I just want something that's going to give my face some color. This is a great product for summer. I will throw this on. So I've been enjoying this quite a lot. I still prefer my Dior lip oils more than this one, but this is still worth a try. I do enjoy it. So that is all from Octoly. I also got the new summer lip collection from House of Siage. I haven't gotten the chance to try these on yet, and you guys, I am so anxious to play with them. So I think I'll probably do like an IG try on video. Let me go over the colors with you. So there are six colors in the collection and they're all super pink. I'm really excited. So I'm going to swatch them up for you guys. Oh no, half of this video is going to be me trying to actually unbox these items and swatch them. So what really makes House of Siage special is they have these really beautiful bow lip cases, but they are refillable. So these are kind of the lipstick refillable packaging. Ooh, these shades are so fun for summer, you guys. So this first color is Royal Highness. Second shade down, we have the Royal. Ooh, I love this really bright candy peach color. This is the crown. And as I'm swatching these, you guys, I really love the House of Siage lipsticks. I think a lot of people feel limited just because you feel like maybe that because you can't get the lip cases because those are very, very expensive that you shouldn't get the lipsticks. But I swear their lipsticks are amazing and they have such beautiful colors. Seriously, I would recommend even just looking into their lipsticks. This fourth one down, this really hot pink is called the Mono. Ooh, so we have like a deeper pink. This is called Royal Seduction down here at the bottom. Guys, these look so beautiful. Okay, so I put the last one on top. This is called the Maharani. Maharani? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is their new lip collection from House Siage. If you love pink colors, I really 
think you're going to enjoy this collection. Make sure you're following me on Morgan Turner Makeup and I will lip swatch all of these for you on Instagram, but they are so gorgeous. I've been looking for the perfect pink lip and it has to be in this collection. Also, I have some items that I purchased for myself. I did kind of break my low buy for these and at this point, guys, I'm no longer on my low buy. I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm not quitting. I did it because I bought a really expensive Peloton and I just wanted to kind of even everything out and at this point I'm good and also from my low buy I do feel like I've learned a lot of how much money I don't need to spend on makeup so lessons were learned but I still don't want to limit myself but anyways Maybelline came out with this coffee collection and I ordered a few off of Ulta so they have two of the super stay matte inks well I got two they have a whole collection and you guys I love this formula I didn't think that I would so these are the super stay matte inks these almost smell like syrup to me as opposed to coffee but they still smell very good the top one is chai genius and then the bottom one is caramel collector I love these they smell really good coffee lovers I would definitely look into these and then they also have the super stay 24 hour color I don't even know how these work I haven't used these yet I guess you have something to prime the lip on one side I got two colors this first one is chai once more so the first step I guess is this the color one uh, this is kind of like a chunky metal oh I'm not going to like that that's the bottom and then step number two is you put that primer on top I will have to try this and keep you guys updated I also got the color caramel crush and this actually looks like a good color I would say stay away from the metallic colors but there's that one and then again you have like this hydrating thing I believe that you put on top I don't know but they all smell super good. So I'm excited for this collection. From what I've tried, it's so good. Except these metallic ones. These look horrible. But I did end up picking those up. Another brand that sent me their whole collection was from Odin's Eye. And you guys have been asking a lot about this brand. Because I've been really testing out their products. And I'm so excited. I'm actually wearing their products right now. I will have a three looks, one palette video on Saturday using the Alba palette. So that's what I'm wearing right now. So... I love this look. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how insane this packaging is. I also am going to do like a whole brand overview of this brand because it's definitely worth checking out. I want to give you a little preview, but like I said, there will be a full video on this brand. So they sent me three eyeshadow palettes and they have this fairy ethereal kind of packaging. So well thought out. So aesthetic -y. I love it. So this Soul Main palette, incredible. I love this purple shade. You guys know that. And like I said, the one I'm wearing right now is the Alva palette. This one is their newest one. It's so pretty. The other palette that I have from them is it another drawer, but I featured it in my ranking my newest palettes video. But they also have this highlighter palette. I haven't gotten the chance to try this yet, so I'm going to try that very soon. They sent me their whole lip collection, you guys, and look at the packaging of this. They have so many amazing colors and then also their whole blush collection as well. I used this one today. This is the shade Sweet Peach. Normally, I would take the time in this kind of video to kind of show you everything, go in depth about everything, but since I do have a whole brand video coming up for this brand, I'm just going to put this to the side and just keep an eye out for that. Also, I posted a picture of this on Instagram. Milani was kind enough to send me their fruit fetish collection. I'm so excited for this. This has so many products that I want to try. So here's what it looks like when you open it. So you have three colorful liquid eyeliners, three of their setting spray, and then the top are all of these fruity kind of balms. I don't want to open up all of the balms because I don't think I will be using that, but the strawberry lemonade is calling my name. So let's Mm, that smells really good. From what I can see, the darker ones will have a slight tint, but for the most part, they're pretty sheer. Ooh, I'm excited to try this out. This is reminding me of like old school lip smacker days, but they have a lot of different flavors. We have mango coconut, strawberry lemonade, dragon fruit peach, 
blueberry, acai, kiwi, watermelon, and pineapple papaya. Also, I do really love their setting spray. I did just finish it up completely, so this came perfect in time. These are scented, which makes it even better. This is their Make It Last spray, by the way. I want to try kiwi watermelon. I don't know about this mango coconut, but the other one is dragon fruit peach, you guys. So fun for summer. I'm hard to get everything out of the box. All right, let's... That smells so good. I'm so excited. They also have these bright eyeliners in a lot of different colors. I'm going to open up this neon lime green one just to see how I'm feeling about the formulation. I mean, this isn't probably the most exciting Milani collection for me, but it is really fun. Like, these aren't items I would probably purchase for myself, but the fact that I have them, I am enjoying them, you know? Like, I'm not ever going to use a really bright eyeliner, probably. Yeah, and it seems a little bit kind of patchy. Like, you would have to build up on it. I don't know about these eyeliners. I will have to test them out. I can probably do some really fun looks on Instagram with these. Keep an eye out on my Instagram. I'll probably feature this collection more, but thank you so much, Milani, for sending me this. Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands, so I was very excited that they sent me this. So, the next brand that was kind enough to send me items is from Face Blue. Now, they sent it in this beautiful blue box, and I was very intrigued by this brand because they are a DC based company. If you don't know, I live right outside DC, so it felt nice to support a local company. I haven't looked too far into it, but you want 15% off, use code MORGAN15. I just saw that. So they had some lashes in the box. First of all, I love the packaging of these. It feels a little bit flimsy, but concept's really cute. Look how cute they are. They're just these little clear discs, and then you open it. And then you have one lash on one side, one lash on the other. How beautiful are these? We have Flying Lashes, Swift, Darling is this style, and then Tree Pea. These actually look really nice and soft and like they would look very natural. So these look really good. We also have some makeup sponges. You guys see how cute this packaging is? So there's this one. Then you have this tiny little cute one. And then we also have a cupcake hand soap. How adorable. I need to put this in my bathroom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little cupcake soap. Super cute. Last thing in the box is a two-in-one makeup brush. So I don't know if you can see. I don't want to open it up, but you have this bigger brush here and then a removable head, it looks like. And the brush in here is just like a small eye brush. So it's supposed to be two in one. So thank you so much, Vase Blue, for sending this my way. I'm excited to dig into these makeup tools. And the eyelashes are really exciting me. The next one, I've, I've been dying to try. It's just other products have come up and I haven't gotten a chance to dig into it. But I'm so excited to finally talk about it at least. So this is from Musee Beauty. Actually, one of their co-founders is a subscriber of mine. So I'm so thankful that you guys I sent this my way. I'm so sorry. It took me long to finally pull it out and feature it on my channel, but I'm really excited to play with it. So first of all, the box is hand-painted on the inside. Really well thought out, you guys. I'm so incredibly impressed. You have a book that basically goes over the brand, the meaning of the palette. Just, it makes everything about this experience so much more special. They also sent along this really adorable t-shirt that says be your own canvas. Let's get into the juicy item here. So excited you guys. I feel like I'm going to be able to create a lot of looks with this palette. So this is the impressionism palette is what it's called and look how cute it is and then let's get into the fun part. Look at this you guys. I am so excited to play with it. Let's do some swatches right now. I love the way that this palette is laid out also, I feel like it just makes sense. It's so well thought out. Ooh, these are swatching very nice. The mattes especially feel really good. I ran out of space for the last color, but look how fun this is. This swatched pretty nice. I would say maybe some of the shimmers could have had a little bit more oomph to them, but I really won't know until I put this on the eyes. So 
I might do just like a whole live playing with this palette because it is inspiring me to create some looks. So thank you so much to you guys at Muse. I am so excited to play with this. So the last item that I have is from a brand called Beauty by Stony. I love the box. I love it when brands have nice touches on their boxes. I actually saw them when I went to the makeup show in DC last year. I didn't pick anything up, but when they reached out to me, I was like, yes. I want to try your products. I saw them in the makeup show. So we have the Cotton Candy Lip Addiction Matte Liquid Lipstick. So really bright pink, very fun for summer. Let me show you. Ooh, that's really, really bright. I don't know that I would get a lot of use out of this particular color, but packaging reminds me a lot of Bobbi Brown, but they did send that over. And I'm so excited to get into this. I've heard very good things about their formula. It has kind of like a soft matte touch to it. And this is the Remedy eyeshadow palette. It's such an interesting array of colors. I'm quickly gonna swatch this and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so here's how the palette's looking. We have a lot of jewel tones. The shade right here, insane. So I'm not sure what I think yet. I definitely want to put this on the eyes first because I feel like some of the mattes were a little bit patchy and I feel like some of the shimmers could have used a little bit more of a punch, but it definitely has some potential for sure. Like this could be a palette that totally shocks me on the eyes. Again, I will have to keep you guys updated. I have a lot of awesome makeup to play around with, so... I'm so excited. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I just want to say a big thank you to the brands that have sent the stuff my way. You guys know I'm a smaller channel. I don't get a lot of PR. So every bit of PR that I do receive, I am so incredibly grateful for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you who are watching, what items are you most excited to see me play with? If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.